Yeah, yeah the bike. It's over out there. It's weird either. Yeah. Yeah, I want it the other way. Alright. <laughs> no, no, no. Alright. Alright, let's get this set up. So what's new, Colin? Oh. Finishing up my dental stuff after like eight years. Oh yeah? Yeah. That's cool. That's good that it's done. Yeah, it's well it's getting there. I got like maybe three or four more appointments and I'm done. Finally. That's awesome. Yeah. Because awesome. you had what, a cleft? Yeah, cleft, cleft palate. I, was, I had a severe underbite about an inch back. Now a couple years ago they Moved all that forward. But that was fun. Yeah, it was very painful. I had to wear a fucking halo on my head for about two months. Oh. And I had to go through a liquid diet. Yeah, that would suck. <laughs> <man>. <laughs> that would suck. I hate What's up, Scooter? Yeah. <laughs> How's it going? What's going on, man? Anything I can help you with? Um, we're looking for the original Xbox One headset, like the for the like the big, not not the we're not looking for one that has the uh, audio. You know what I'm talking about the 45 millimeter jack. Yeah, you, for Xbox One or yeah, what? Yeah, yeah. Well, Sorry. that that one just comes with that piece. It still doesn't need it if you don't want it. Oh, because you plug it into it and then you plug it into the. Mm -hmm. I got you. This one right here. Yeah, 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 yeah. The, the, well, that one, that so, one, yeah, that, so. that one just has the three. You, this one just has that. Yeah, it just has that. Okay, so, that's what sweet. you need. Yeah, yeah. Sweet. I'm looking, not looking. For I thought you were talking about maybe no, the one that we're not looking for anything too expensive. Okay. That yeah. drains your batteries like crazy though. It does, but they're uh, pretty. Nice. They're pretty awesome. I'm not they gonna lie, they nice. sound great. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I actually, I, my cousin had Colin has those. Yeah. yeah. I swear, every other time we play, I gotta get new batteries. <laughs> yeah. I, I use that one, and I use it on both Xbox One and PS4. Really? But, yeah. It's kind of. I know it's kind of weird using an Xbox on a PS4. Oh, whatever, man. Rumble. Whatever works. Works good. <laughs> he just got, he's taking up my Xbox, my, because I have an X now, so. Cool. I had an X for a while, but he's buying my old Xbox One. It's awesome. The Xs are nice. They are. They are. <laughs> Do you guys sell 4K HDMI cables? I don't. I just have basic cables at the moment. Because so. I have a 4K TV, but no 4K HDMI cable. Yeah, I don't. I don't. Really, I mean, I, it didn't. Yeah. Didn't the Xbox the one that came with? Mm -mm, it's not. It's not 4K. You have to. You have to buy the 4K adapter. I think it's just a regular HDMI cable. It's crazy. Maybe it's not though. I don't know. I, yeah, I'll have I to mean, go. I'll have to go look at it again. I I, I use the normal, normal one. Versus normal one. one. Uh, it was running in 4K, but I mean, I'm, there are much better HDMI cables than what we sell. Right. You know, right. higher quality. Right. I just. But they're usually like expensive. 4K HDMI cables are like can get pricey. Yeah, so it honestly looks pretty hilarious. That looks like it'd be super fun, but really bad. Yeah. <laughs> the only thing about that is it's not like you would think. It's not a real. It's more of a it's turn based, based strategy. Yeah. Yeah. What? Yeah. Why would you even do that? Weird. If you want, if you want a game like that though, um, mm -hmm. it's not on disc yet. It's coming out on disc, but you can download it. Now. There's a Mutant Football League. That's out. Do you know how long it took me to try to find this in stores, and now you have it? I can't even play it. It's, it why not? You can play it on your one. Oh my gosh! It's back, all those games are compatible. All these ones are. Yeah, all the ones right there are compatible. Oh my gosh! You can play that on your one. I was like, good. Yeah, dude. Dude, they made a Halo Wars two. Yeah, you know it's. About it? Uh, it was so disappointing. Oh really? I was so disappointed in Halo Wars two. That's not my thing. I'm not into this. You know, I just, no, no RTS for you. Yeah, I'm, I suck at them. <laughs> Yeah. Did you ever play I, Age of Empires back then? Yeah, you know I play. You know, you know probably why I don't like them is because. No, it's because Command and Conquer more than anything. Oh, yeah. uh, but I really used, I tried to get into it. My cousin was like, "Oh, come on, it's so fun. I'll get you into it. I'll teach you how to play." Mm -hmm. So we, we, you know, back then we had to dial into each other. Right. Yeah. And we dial up, and 
he's trying to tell me we're like on the phone while we're playing he's telling me like what to do like like five minutes in he just comes and obliterates me i'm like yeah that was fun <laughs> right, yeah i'm like oh that was that was awesome he has like a thanks, full army. teaching me. Yeah, he has a full army build up, and I still have you know like a couple guys here and there. Like one tower. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and I'm like, yeah, that was real fun, and I just I don't know, they just weren't my thing. Yeah, that's what I, that's what happened to me when I used to play uh, Age of Empires three online with people. Like yeah. there'd be people who were like, I don't know, I was like twelve, and then I'd be facing like these like thirty year old dudes that were like. And knew every strategy yeah, of the game, and we're like working here. super fast. And like, I would literally have like two towers I, and like a I, wall around my city, and they'd come with like a huge army. I, I kind of like watching me. people play them, but I suck at them. Mm -hmm. So, you want a really good zombie game? I did like Cat and Mouse. That game's Dying awesome. Light is Dying Light is one awesome. of the best Xbox One games. Now. That's one of my favorites. And I cannot wait for the second one. It looks amazing. Did you ever play uh, the the second? The, the, it, the following? Yeah. I never got to it. No. The following is even bigger than the first. Or, even really though it's an add-on. It's actually bigger. you can't the fo the following itself you can't oh, I'm sorry oh, oh I'm it's sorry not man connected that's all right oh, I'm sorry uh, the following you can't just buy on its own you have to buy the game then buy that right um you can you can if you have the game you can buy it as DLC or you can buy the following and the following has the original and the add-on to it so you're basically getting two games I don't know they should have called it part two because it's really bigger than the first part right. you get cars you can run over zombies. Um, Basically, nice. basically, it's parkour meets zombies. Yeah, 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 it's awesome. It's, it's amazing. It I love drop kicking oh the zombies gosh. into going, stuff. Going out at night is so scary. Like seriously, <laughs> I've never. There's some I games. I watched Derek play some of it one time. Those zombies are. Better. There are games that are like like the like Dead Rising. I think it was two. Did that where the zombies <laughs> yeah, like glowed, yeah. glowed red, and like they were trying to do this thing. It was like don't go out at night, or you know it's a big deal at night. But then you like. No game, every game that says that never really delivers something that's punishing, I feel like. Dying Light is. Dying Light is punishing. You do not go out there with, what are they called, stalkers? Yeah, I usually just find a safe spot, go to bed, yeah. wait, wait for the morning. <laughs> that's straight up what you got, or unless, yeah. there's some quests that say you have to be at night. Yeah, there's a few. And if you stay, like, up on top of the buildings, you're usually okay. L.A. Noir was good. Oh, that did look really good. L.A. Noir almost ended Rockstar. <laughs> I heard this game was bad. I haven't played that one. <laughs> you guys have Grand Theft Auto Five for thirty dollars. Do you know Walmart sells it for sixty bucks still? You know what's funny is that one goes up and down all the time, and I, what I think happens is we have different distributor than Walmart does. Right. So our distributor, when they price drop it, we price drop it. Sometimes we have better deals. Occasionally they have better deals, but um, yeah, it, it's. For us right now, I can order it. I it's thirty bucks. So, yeah. well, not for you guys, but that's okay. Yeah, you, you gotta make money. I know, but my cost is below like, like thirty. Bucks. Yeah, your, your yeah. cost is yeah. yeah. At a place where you can be there. Online yeah. games with friends and forever since I got I bought a PS4 before any of my friends bought like any of the next gen consoles at the time, and then all my friends got Xbox. So I like haven't played online. In, that's, like, literally honestly, like, that's usually what I tell people. Whatever your friends have, get that system. Mm -hmm. That that's that's what I've. That's why I like. I was I was so upset when Sam I, we, when we met you had a PlayStation. Mm -hmm. You're like, I was no. like, yeah. Far Cry Five is awesome. I don't think there's a prettier game on Xbox right now other than the Sea of Thieves. I, I, sea of Thieves is a pretty game. Beautiful game. Beautiful I mean, game. there's not a lot of content. They're 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 adding more. Like yeah, they've been adding I more. I think it will be good, but it's yeah. Gonna take well, a it started. Out, I was telling him earlier. I think what happened was they well what happened was they built an award winning water system. Water is amazing. Their water is the best water you'll ever see in your life. Yeah. But then, but then they're like, we need to get a game for this. <laughs> so I feel like they like rushed the game out as like a rushed. tech demo. I think it's rushed. Yeah. I think it was a tech demo, and then they, they realized they have four million people who actively play that game. Do you know that how many people they still have playing yeah, that game? A lot. What game? Sea of Thieves has four million people actively playing it on average That's what, for a game that has no content. But they've added some since I got on. I just did the update, got on, and there's so many more things for you to do now. Yeah, they keep they'll, they'll keep adding. Stuff and out I'm I'm telling you right now, I've never felt. I, I wanted Assassin's Creed Black Flag to adopt that water system. Yeah, I like it. That's probably my favorite Assassin's Creed. Well, I think it was a good... It wasn't a good Assassin's Creed game. It was a great game. But it was like... They should have just named it something else. and just went like Pirates. <laughs> just called it Pirates. Take Pirates Creed. There you go. How about that? <laughs> yeah. Or like Creed. made their own... But the, I just wish they would like make their own spin off of that now. Mm -hmm. I did see at E3, what was it, E3 or something, that they were actually showing they were going to make a pirate game Ubisoft? Yeah, that, that looks It was like awesome. a multiplayer. Skull Bones. Yeah. Yeah. 
Uh, but it's not what I want. I want a free roam RPG pirate, pirate game, not just a multiplayer. Yeah, Skull and Bones. I thought it looked pretty sweet. Is it coming out still, or has it been canceled? No, it's coming out. Um, I just don't know if there's a date yet. I'll check here. I think it's next year. Um, let me see. I'm trying to remember what I was Don't get Far Cry. Here, though, because they have it on. Uh, Amazon. You can buy it with your card and get a digital download code for, like, $39.99 right now. I heard Resident Evil Biohazard was phenomenal. Yeah, there's no date at the moment on Skull okay, Bones. Cool. I'm pretty sure it's next year. It looked beautiful. It looked like a it looked like Assassin's Creed, yeah, but it looks awesome. Um, What's up? Rock metal and swap. What's happening? I'm, I'm streaming online, so if you no, hear you're me talking, no, you're not good. crazy. Oh, you guys do that? Mm hmm That's cool. Okay, a lot of people watching. I just started, though. I only got like 10 right now. Um, Stream. 2674. Yeah. Yeah, and I just answer questions and stuff. Oh. Uh, 2674. That's, cool. That's a cool idea. You get to do it yourself here. Do you mm -hmm. want a bag? Uh, nah. Right. Dude, you can get one of these spot rewards things. Oh, shoot. Do you have one? I, dude, I keep doing that. I'm so it's, sorry. You're not going to hurt anything. I know, but I just feel bad because <laughs> you told me once already. <laughs> do I have one? I think I do. There it is. Let's see how many spots you got. Like one, probably maybe two. Just hold it. Oh, you gotta hold that. Keep oh, shoot. Like, Come on, man. I uh, thought I had it on that side, okay? I know. Let's see what you got. You got four. When nice. you get a 10, you can get free game liner or 30% off. You get a 15, $5 off the purchase. Sweet. So, um, it's 20% off any used game, though. Mm -hmm. uh, 2674, and yes, yeah. you just gotta actually press F3. Oh. And that's it. And Sam, when we and, get your what time is this? When we get to your house? Yeah. If Lee is not there quite yet. Mm -hmm. I think we're gonna probably gonna meet her at the Y. Oh, okay. Then because I don't know why she would drive all that from house. Because you, if you're gonna actually end up playing a game with me, me tonight, mm -hmm. you're gonna have to download it like. <laughs> Oh, yeah. You yeah. have to install it. We should so. be able to do that anyway. I think it's broke. So oh. Thanks, man. I appreciate I'll it. Thank you for it. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a good one. Yep, you too. Hey, Krill, I listened to John's podcast. <laughs> Finally. He's basically wants to be Smokey in the Bandit. I think I'm going to call him Smokey from now on. Hill checking out Nightbot. Thanks. I'm going to call him Smokey. Tonight when they do the podcast, I'm going to, I'm going to call him Smokey. I'm going to call him Michelle Bandit. They should be Smokey and Bandit. What's up? <laughs> oh my, dude, that blows. Three, three screws here. Three screws here. No wires going into the Could you pick up, could you get, like, television reception? I'm yeah. just joking. Yeah, I got it. Then I got pretty good reception. I mean, not much. But yeah. Okay. Oh, dude, that's that's. Metal wires. How long do you have to wear that? I'd wear that a few months. I would go crazy. And I and I couldn't eat anything, so I had to do a liquid diet for a few months too. I probably could use a liquid diet, <laughs> but I wouldn't want to do it. I. What? Two with uh, fancy. What? Kind of, yeah, yeah, it's an inventory. <laughs> I hate it. You hate it? Oh, yeah. It, 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 it just, it's just so damn hot. It just oh, like, yeah. 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 It, if you're working in the heat for like eight, ten hours at a time, yeah. It's just. Uh, that would suck. Awful. Luckily, I'm just looking for a new job afterwards. <laughs> Where are you looking? Uh, actually, so I was Curtis. thinking about, uh, OVH. Oh, that's cool. My sister used to work there. Yeah. yeah. yeah I'm just, uh, my, my grandfather used to, uh, was there. He passed, passed away there. Mm. A couple years ago. But, 
It's, yeah. I've heard it's a pretty good job. Yeah. My sister liked it, so. Plus, I, I like how. It is sad though when the when the when people pass away though. Yeah. That's the only thing you got to deal with. My, yeah. My sister would always tell me that. So. Yeah, it sucks. But yeah. It's part of the job. It is part of the job. Yep. Because you get relationships with those. Yeah. Those older guys. <laughs> Yeah. My, my grandfather is such a smart guy. <laughs> They're telling me to give you a job. I don't have any jobs to give out right now. Sorry, man. Or I would. I, I like Colin. Colin's Colin's a good customer. Yeah. I, I'm, so, a, I'm a loyal one. Yeah. Do you have any of the... Do you used to sell the three-month placement? I, I do, and there's some weird thing. I can't get them right now. Really? Yeah. Is I, there like a distributor issue? Yeah, my distributor doesn't have them. I don't know what's going on with the three-month. Sony cards. I mean, distributor's been out for like over a month now. Over a month? Yeah. That's and and honestly, I don't. I think you can get them over at like Walmart or. Mm-hmm. I don't really make much on them. Yeah. But, but okay. try try finding them over there. Yeah, I think one. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, I normally have them. No, I'm, I'm buying PlayStation Plus for a buggy of mine. That's why I don't feel like oh, spending sixty bucks. Yeah, on yeah no, yeah, I yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd definitely go with the, the twenty five dollar yeah, one too. I might be grateful. Yeah. <laughs> yep. You been playing more each one? No, I'm addicted to freaking um this what? Mario Tennis. Mario Tennis? <laughs> I'm addicted to Mario Tennis and um I was playing a new Switch game last night. It's called Pocket Rumble. This one. Pocket Rumble. It's it's kind of like a Neo Geo Pocket game. Mm-hmm. I like it. It's ten bucks. It was ten bucks. Mm-hmm. Uh, let me skip this ad. Yeah. Um, it's got like Neo Geo Pocket graphics, yeah. but it's it's on the Switch. It's on it's on uh, PC as well. Um, but uh, it's only two buttons, and it, it's it's fun. It's it's good. It's tough though. They did a good job on it. Um, but yeah, I've been playing that last night. Play a little bit of Fortnite. I suck at it. What's up, little French lady? That, that's why I don't play it. <laughs> well, I don't like the building you, and the cartoon. You know what? I don't need. I don't like the building either. But um, if you do the fifty on fifty, you really don't got to worry about building. No, you really don't. Uh, another people do it for you. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> that's what I was doing last night. That's the only. That's the only time I ever play it. But this game. This game's actually pretty badass. It kind of reminds me of. Uh, it looks, if you ever had a Neo Geo Pocket, that's what the graphics look like. And I loved my Neo Geo. I still have it, but I love my Neo Geo Pocket. <laughs> but I used to play Samurai Showdown was probably my favorite on there. And then there was like SNK versus Capcom on there. I used mm-hmm. to play all the time. But what, what's funny is this one, it's like so easy to do all the super moves. Everything's on diagonals, yeah. which is cool. Um, <laughs> but like even to throw a fireball, you just hit down on diagonal on the button. You just kind of hit them at the same <laughs> like, time. Like you, like you just sound content with it. You're like, eh, it's cool. <laughs> I like it. I like it a lot. But but I, I, I liked uh, um, those games you had to do all the Street Fighter moves. They were, yeah. Even though they only had two buttons, they all were awesome. <laughs> What's new, little French lady? What are you up to? Guys, check. You wish you had a Neo Geo Pocket? Actually, I found one at at, um, at Goodwill last summer for five bucks. And it was in perfect shape. And it had Pac-Man and another game with it. Goodwill has no idea what they're doing. What's up, Tyler? Speaking of people that find shit at Goodwill, Tyler right there. Tyler got a had a nice find at Goodwill not too long ago. But yeah, that Neo Geo Pocket, that was probably my best score ever at Goodwill. So what's everybody playing? You guys just heard what I'm playing. Well, here's the thing about Goodwill is if you go in there, if you go in there a hundred times, there'll be two or three times that there's something good. Um, Goodwill is like right around the corner from here. So a lot of times when I'm leaving here at night, I'll stop in there or sometimes on my way in, I'll stop in there. And, and like I said, 
97 times out of 100, it's it's garbage or they're way overpriced. But there's like two or three times where you find a good deal yeah. on video games. Now, it used to be, it used to be like, I would say even like six, seven years ago, you could walk into a Goodwill and find good shit almost all the time. Not anymore. Not anymore. Now everybody is looking for video games. It's actually... As a store owner, it's really frustrating because I used to be able to find stuff all the time there, and now everybody is buying up video games, especially old video games, and everybody's trying to um, run a little store out of their house. Basically, they're trying to they're trying to flip video games, and um, I will tell you there are a million other things that are better to flip than video games. Like you're not going to get rich flipping video games from Goodwill and, and garage sales. Trust me, I know. But a lot of people do that. A lot of people, and there's a lot of people that hoard them, too. They just buy them, and they keep buying them. I, there's friends of mine that have, like, they have huge collections of NES and NES games, and they'll have, like, four or five copies of each game. I'm like, why do you have so many multiple copies? Like, sell that crap to me. <laughs> Bonjour, or Michael Jordan. You're from the UK, um, and you can't find uh, games in store for it. Are you talking about Neo Geo? Neo, I hardly ever get Neo Geo games, like, traded in. Almost never. I do have a couple right now, but that's very rare. I don't get much Neo Geo. I don't get um, Sega Dreamcast and Sega CD and Sega Saturn are probably the least traded in games. Um, I actually think down the road those might become, the prices on that stuff's going to go up be, once people start realizing how rare that stuff is. Not all Dreamcast games, but some Dreamcast games are very rare, but Sega Saturn, hardly ever get that stuff traded in. And Sega CD are pretty, pretty rare. There's just not a lot of games for them, though. But NES is always going to be king. N64 is probably the, the number one system for retro. I just can't keep those systems in. I don't have any N64s at the moment. Whenever I get them, they sell right away. I have quite... I, and, and Super Nintendo is getting that way at the moment. I only have a couple Super Nintendos. Um, I got a lot of NESs, though. PSPs, you know what? I don't get a lot of PSPs, but I have a lot of PSP games here. I have a whole, I have, I have shitloads of PSP games, rock metal. And it's funny when people come in here that like are from out of town because this is like a tourist town. They're like, oh my god, I can't believe how many PSP games you got. Oh my god, really, Corel? Saw a graded NES Deluxe with Ron. Oh, Jesus Christ. I think grading is stupid, by the way, but um, you're, I don't know. That's becoming a thing. I can't believe people are getting games graded. Really? Yeah, they are. Here's the thing, Rock Metal. I don't. I don't. I, my my website is just basic information. I I do sell some of my rarer stuff sometimes on Amazon and eBay, but don't buy any games like that for that price. It's just so dumb. Um, here's here's the thing. Like it, like you're talking like NES stuff like that is not old enough to be worth that much money. Yeah. And like for, for somebody's gonna find like. A where like back in the corner of a warehouse they'll find like 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 no they'll find like a case of like some rare game or something still because i've been to plenty of warehouses and sh stuff does get lost in warehouses mm -hmm. um it's just it's just not that rare like like all right one of the rarest nes games is um stadium events right and you know for for a long time it was thought that there were only like i don't know 12 or 13 of them what's up mr baltimore um, but some guy recently, came, I think it was last year about this time, he came out and he, he said that he has a shipping box full of them. Or he has two or something. But he has like a dozen of them himself, new sealed. 
and he showed pictures of the shipping box. So, like, you just don't know what's really out there. Yeah, that's D Derek's in here. Yeah, yeah, the guy that has all. There's a guy that collects shipping boxes, and he has all of his games are are like in shipping boxes. In shipping boxes, there's six games to a box, and he has multiples of these of these super rare games in shipping boxes which is a really weird thing to collect because shipping boxes are just ugly brown boxes that say the name or whatever it's not really something you would display yeah there's that and there's like misprints and stuff like that Corel. there's like there's one there's I, I always forget this. There's there's a Super Mario Brothers two that's worth more because it has some kind of different print on the front too. Yeah, he he, yeah that guy that Derek's talking about. He had he had shipping boxes of Little Samson, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. All these are NES games in shipping boxes. Um, the game behind me, Mr. E, is called Pocket Rumble. Um, it's on PC, but it just came out on Switch the other day. And uh, um, I was streaming it last night. It's awesome game. It looks like a Neo Geo Pocket game, hence the name Pocket Rumble. Um, but it's a cool fighting game. It's got online. Um, this character, this girl character here, was really cool. She was kicking my butt. And when she beats you, you like turn into a zombie. It's kind of cool. Stadium events. Yep. I actually have Radiant Silver Gun. I love that game. But I bought it new when it came out. So I'm kind of old. But Radiant Silver Gun's an awesome game. But yeah, that is rare. See, there's a lot of Sega Saturn games I think that are going to go up in, in value. Sega Saturn and Sega CD. Uh, more Sega Saturn. There's a lot of cool games for, for Saturn that are rare. I love Radiant Silver Gun, though. They did remake that not too long. Was that on 360? I think they put it out on. By the way, Derek, um, we're just about out of controllers. I sold a few more controllers mm -hmm. for Xbox One. Um, it's been a controller day. It's funny when you're, um, like, you'll notice, like, if you ever work at a game store, things will go in spurts, and it's been controllers lately. Um but sometimes it's funny, like there'll be a day where somebody comes in and looks for some random game and then you'll have like two or three people looking for the same game. You're like, what the hell is going on with this game? Sometimes that happens when things go backwards compatible, but sometimes it's just random and you'll... The, the weirdest thing, this happens a lot too, is like somebody will come in looking for a game that I might just, I don't have. And I swear to God, like a half an hour after I leave, someone will come in and trade that game in. It happens all the time. Like, of course. Now you trade it in. So what's everybody playing themselves? A six-button Genesis controller. <laughs> Let's see what I got. Well, Corel, I'll have to check my other store, but kind of weird, bizarre. I don't have any official ones at the moment. I have some, have some off-brand ones that are pretty good. But I do have one of these bad boys too. Arcade stick. The ASCII arcade stick. These are pretty, pretty cool. Yeah, I would say, um, honestly, um, the retro, 
the retro bit or the hyperkin ones are pretty good if you go with these um the gn6 is pretty good or the retro bit i actually i don't know i kind of prefer this one but um yeah i don't have any official ones here at the moment i'll have to check my other store kind of weird i don't have any yeah, that's, I, I mean, I usually sell Retrobit or Hyperkin. I mean, because Hyperkin, um, Hyperkin is sold by Hyperkin. But um, Retrobit, we get these from a company called Enix. So. These are bad. These are, these are decent. These are, these are pretty cool. They both are pretty much the same. They got six button controllers. I mean, six, six foot uh six foot cords um both have i think both have six foot this one doesn't say hold on this one doesn't say how long the cord is i'm pretty sure they're both six foot Yeah, the, the controllers with the adapters are nice. Um, those are nice to have. My favorite controller of all time. These are actually pretty good, but I like the Sega Saturn six button controllers. Those are my favorite of all time. Not the American one, the Japanese one. Those are my favorite controllers, and that's what I, I usually use those all the time and run an adapter. I use a USB adapter. The real ones, I prefer the real ones too, but it is getting harder to get the real ones. Colin, just get one of everything. You're making that management money now. You guys should check out, uh, I'll give them a plug, check out Video Game Outsiders tonight. If you go to VideoGameOutsiders.com, um, they do a podcast live at 9 p.m. Eastern Time. Um, you guys can uh, join in and in the chat room you can type stuff. They'll interact with you. It's kind of cool. I'm on there a lot. I'm not tonight, but I have my own podcast um, on their app. You have to download their app. It's called Video Game Outsiders. On either the Play Store or or the or iTunes, but my my podcast is free on there. But the only way you can hear it is to go and get their app. And I'm working on I'm working on the new one right now, so I'm working on my next podcast. Um, I got a bunch of topics I want to talk about. I'm not going to be able to even cover them all, or it would be like an hour long podcast. I'm going to save some for the next one. Um, Krell, I'm, I'm scheduled to be on it in like two more weeks. They got, I think I'm about two weeks out. I think they're, they're, they have some guests tonight, then they're going to have Matt and then me. So like not next week, but the week after I'll be on it again. I've been asked to be on some other podcasts too. So, um, I'll let you know when I'm on these other podcasts. There was another podcast that wanted to interview me, so. Honestly, Krell, they usually don't book me that far in advance. Um, but uh, uh, I don't. Uh, weird. Michelle. Michelle is the one that asked me. So I think before it was always John. Um, John would like if they didn't have anybody. I was like I was like Plan B a lot of times. But now I'm getting to be Plan A. So um, so yeah, Michelle. Michelle contacted me a couple days ago. The app's called Video Game Outsiders, yep. Uh, oh, sorry, I didn't see that, Curtis. Um, I'll show you what it looks like. Um, okay. 
that it's it, it says VGO, but um, it's called Video Game Outsiders. Kind of that's what the app looks like when you load it up. But it's free. Um, there are some podcasts that they try to charge for, but my podcast is called The Game Store Guy. Looks like that. Um, obviously, there's my head there, but um, mine's called The Game Store Guy. Check it out. It's free. At least my podcast is free. Thanks, Curtis. Yeah, the more people check it out, the better. But I talk about stuff like I'm talking about here, video games and running a game store, what it's like to run a game store, and uh, some other topics, too. I talked about E3 one, one, of, the, one of the shows. Yeah, if you do want to get their, their stuff, it's two bucks a month if you want to get all the podcasts. Um, but you, mine's free. So, I don't care. I don't get any money, so I don't care if you, you, you don't have to pay for theirs. I personally pay for it, but, um, mine's free. If you want a free podcast, go download the app. What? I know, I know, I know. I'm, I'm pimping out my podcast. Well, I want my podcast... That's right. Don't, don't worry about the other free podcast. Just do my podcast. I don't think they're going to, Krell, I don't think they're going to have too many other free podcasts. I don't think, I think mine's going to be the only one soon, so. Where's the, ch yeah. Yeah, I, I forgot about that. That was pretty funny. He actually thought that was real for a second. I'll bring that up. I'm gonna I'm gonna save that. Yeah, he actually thought that was real for a second. It was pretty funny. Oh my god, I can't find it. I post way too much crap on Twitter. I can't find it. Yeah, those great Photoshop skills. Did you like my MoFest one? Krell, did you like the MoFest? I can't find it now. I'll have to find it later. Holy crap. I got a bunch of... I got tagged in some, like... I got tagged in, like, a big uh, tweet, like, from a bigger... Um, somebody who has a shitload of followers, and everybody keeps responding to it, so all day I've had, like, ass loads of mentions on Twitter. I like to poke. I like to. I like to. I like to poke John. I like to get under his skin. He wants me to do that more. You know what's funny is he always wants me to do. He wants me to get into it with him on, um, on the show, but I like always agree with him on like the topics we're talking on, about for most of it. He was. I, I don't. I, Krell, that made no sense. He he makes no sense. He has a little shitty old mower. There's no way. He must only mow like a quarter of his yard. I have like just under one. I got a pretty big yard. I live out in the country. It's not like I'm, I'm not rich by any means. Quite the opposite, actually. I get by. You know what? I'm I'm rich. If I if I sold every game in here, I would be doing okay. 
but but like I wish I could pay my bills with video games but I have to sell them first like I mean I technically do pay my bills with video games but like I wish I could just send my landlord you know 30 copies of Madden 08 I have, I have a zero turn lawnmower I have one of those bigger lawnmowers too and there's no way John's full of shit he just was John, we, we were in a lawnmower argument that's kind of kind of silly and it was funny but we were in a lawnmower argument about whose lawn who who cuts grass better wow. it was it was actually pretty funny though Here, I'll bring up, and, and so, uh, I gotta make a copy of move. I'm gonna, I'm gonna copy move for this right now. So so we did this. We were gonna have a uh, we're gonna ah, we we're gonna have a mow off. That was it. It was gonna be called Mow Fest. <laughs> uh, yeah, that, that's the kind of great uh, great topic. So okay. you give me ninety bucks for thirty. Yeah, I'm sure you would. Madden ninety eight is the only one that's worth any money. I got you a Madden ninety eight, Tyler, just for you. I found you one. Oh yeah, you, you know what's funny about that? I I don't even think he picked up on it. It was a black dog. His his Twitter handle, John, the guy we're talking about, he goes by Black Dog Seven on Twitter. So I found a black dog riding a lawnmower. What's up, Daniel? Barbado. Really? We got it. We had a troll. Did it grab it? Did it hold it? Um, as I, I put more more strict. Uh, um, oh, you got it, Krell. But um, Krell, I actually I put more strict. Uh, um, it should catch them more frequently now. I updated. I up. Good job, Krell, though. But I updated it. So it should they have a new they have a new way of catching trolls and it should hold the comments for um, review I'm sure there'll be some of them that get through but I don't know why I get so many trolls lately oh tr Oh, did you just, is he still in here? You, don't, you didn't need to, um. Uh, I'm gonna, Krell, I'm gonna unhide that guy. I think I've seen him before. I think he might, he, he might not have been, yeah, you can't say that, but, um. I unhid him, Trap, so if you're still in here, don't, don't, don't hide him unless it's something. He's probably just saying that because I, I kind of agree with him on LeBron. Um. He's. I think he's just. I think he's just trying to bust my balls. I don't think he was trying to be a jerk. So I'm troll. He's just getting on. He's saying that because you know I'm a good. No, it's fine, Krell. You know I'm. I'm a Cavs fan, and obviously, LeBron leaving kind of sucks. Oh, yeah. He knows that. So. It's no big deal. That's all right. I unhit him. Just that's no big deal. I'm glad I caught it. Hey, what's up, Trap? Yeah, I know you're Trap. Are you towards the store at seven? Yeah. I already turned your sign off. You turned my sign off for me. Look at look at Collins going to work for me. Are you gonna? 
You gonna grab anything? Got one. No. I'm no. just debating on buying something. But All right. I just realized I'm I'm gonna go buy that thing for my friend. Hey trap! If you put that f word now, it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna um, censor, it. censor it. Oh, it puts it on hold. So. Actually, you know what's funny is I, I had to put I had to type all these words I type oh, you like mean every black, you like a blacklist now? I, I blacklisted so many words but I also even blacklisted Trump and Hillary and, <laughs> no, and no like like because I don't want politics yeah and this is for gaming damn it <laughs> yeah yeah there's so many people trying to turn it into politics and I, I don't mind talking politics sometimes but <laughs> it's just going to turn into a hate fest <laughs> oh because. I've said this a million times, like, no matter who you like or who I like, half the people are going to disagree with me, and half the yeah. people, I'm just going to either piss off half the people, or, yeah. like, I even told, like, Derek, like, if he was ever wearing, like, a Hillary shirt or something, I yeah. said, dude, you can't wear that, or if it was a Trump hat, I'm like, dude, you can't wear that. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> It was my awesome Fortnite stream last night. What's up, Kyle? All right, I am going. I'm going to keep streaming, but I'm going to kick Colin out here in a yeah, second. Then I'm going to lock the door. So I'm going to keep streaming though yeah. <laughs> while I close out. See you, Colin. Oh, see you, Kevin. Later. Hello. Yeah. Um, I have two. Oh, you know what happened? Oh, shit. I put one with, like, system, I think, or something. I have two. Why, you need one? All right. Yeah, we can do buy two, get one free, buy one, get one half off, whatever you want to do. Alright, that's fine. Alright. Yep. Yep, alright. Alright, bye. Who was who was fishing? Someone was fishing. Been fishing all week. A lot of that goes on around here. All right, I gotta close out. Juggernauts uh, gonna be in the stream here. I'm gonna keep asking questions. I'll keep keep asking me stuff. I'm gonna. I, I have the. I have all your guys' comments right here, so I can keep talking while I'm closing out. But I'm closing up the store. It takes me about 20 minutes to close out, though, so I'll still be streaming for a little while. What's everybody been playing lately? Nobody seemed to want to answer that. I know Tyler's been playing Madden 98. Dark Souls, GTA 5, bunch of emulator stuff. You know, I might do an emulator stream tonight, Krell. Oh, Krell, speaking of that, I'm so pissed. I got my... Um, I got my VGA to HDMI adapter so I could do Dreamcast um, 
streams with a good connect with a good video quality the elgato can't see the hdmi um it does it doesn't work with the elgato i'm still bummed it looks cool it looks really good on the tv so i'm running a vga cord from my dreamcast to this adapter that switches it to hdmi and it works great i mean the cord works great it looks awesome on the tv but the elgato doesn't like it it says unsupported video so I, I tried messing with the settings. I can't get up. So mad. I'm like, no, I wanted to do some awesome Dreamcast streams. So I, I, I got to figure out how I'm going to do this. I know it didn't look that bad, but it still wasn't like the greatest. I just want, I want it, I'm, I'm kind of, I'm that guy that I always want the best, the best video quality that I can get, and, uh, it, but it bothers me, so, I've always been that way, and it's funny, because, like, even, I mean, I was always, I'm always, like, tuning TVs, or, like, my arcade machines, I'm always tuning to try to get the clearest picture possible, I'm just, I'm that guy. It bugs, it bugs me. I know it doesn't bug like 95% of the people, but it's me, so. Yeah, I had the component cables. I mean, I bought, I remember I went out and got a HDTV when, I, when the Xbox came out because I wanted to, there were, you know, some games that were in HD. So, yeah, that's me. I'm that guy. You know what's funny, too, is my next my next podcast i'll give you a little bit of a preview i am going to talk a little bit about um i'm going to talk about some numbers but like it seems like i talk about numbers but i i, I look at everything like from a business um you know like how stuff sells and, and like right now like the ps4 sorry it's selling better than xbox one and the switch the switch will eventually like pass up xbox one in sales and, like, when I talk about that stuff, like, I get accused of being, like, a Sony fanboy sometimes or, or like, I'm a, I might talk a little bit about that, but I'm not, I could care less. I actually want Xbox to do better. And, you know, it's funny, is when the first Xbox came out, I liked Xbox better than PlayStation 2. Um, I liked Xbox 360 better than PlayStation 3. I like PS4 better than Xbox this time. Um, I really am about as far from a fanboy on anything. Um, he, the, when I was younger, I was a Sega fanboy, um, but I like everything, so I really don't care. But sometimes, like when I'm talking numbers, like people accuse me of like, you know, I'm trying to like side with um, one side. I, it's so stupid. I, Carl, and me too. When I was younger, but. I, when I got in college, I could afford a lot of stuff because I had a job, and I, I, I pretty much bought everything. So since I've been in college on, I've had everything. Even in high school, I, I had a I had a Genesis. I had a Super Nintendo. I had a regular Nintendo. I didn't have I didn't have a Sega uh, Master System, but my friend across the street did, and we used to we used to trade. I used to trade my Nintendo with his Master System. We'd trade back and forth so we could play all the games. Um, so my whole life, I've pretty much played just about everything. Um, I've had just about every game system, except the Jaguar. I never got a Jaguar, which was a smart move. Um, but most game systems I've had. Um, so I really consider myself like one of the few people that... I, I just don't understand people that are fanboys. And I, I mean, I was self-admittedly was a Sega fanboy back then. I always liked Genesis better. But I had both. You know what made me a Sega fanboy, though, was I had the NES, and my friend had that Master System. 
And I was a big arcade guy, and Sega always had the arcade ports. Sega always had the... All, I mean, except for Nintendo, you know, they had Donkey Kong, and they had, like, like DK, you know, Junior. They had a few arcade ports, but, man, Sega had, like, Alter Beast and Shinobi, and they, they just had all those arcade ports, and they were, like, great. Ninja Gaiden... Yeah, Ninja Gaiden Arcade's awesome. You know what's funny, Krill? Ninja Gaiden Arcade, probably the best home version of that back then was on the Atari Lynx. And I had an Atari Lynx with that. That was the only one that was, was like the arcade. Um, and likewise, the arcade one came out on the Wii. On the Wii eShop. I actually have it on my... I have it on my Wii U now, but... Yeah. I love the Ninja Gaiden arcade. I like beat 'em up, so yeah. Ninja Gaiden was totally different than it was in the arcade. I well, I, I I do play it in main, but I play it mainly on my. I got an arcade machine that has it's basically run in main, but it's got all those games on it, so. Got one thirty four. I love beat em ups. It's funny too because I know they're like repetitive as hell. They're so repetitive, but I, I don't know why I just love beat em ups. It's probably why I like stuff like Bayonetta and stuff like that because it's, it's essentially just a beat em up. God of War. The uh, old God of Wars were more like that. I'm debating. I actually think the Turtles game that I have at my house, I'm going to make it look like a Turtles. I'm going to restore it back to the way it was, but I'm, I think I'm going to throw Mame inside it. Because I, I just can't, I can't justify paying $400 for the motherboard. I think I'm just going to throw Mame in there and put a bunch of four player games on it and load it up, make it cool. If somebody wants to make it back to, um, you know, put the actual motherboard in it later on, I might sell it that way and see, you know, I'll do the re restoration because that's what I want to do. I like restoring them, but I think they're much cooler when you throw MAME in it, even though I know a lot of people hate MAME, but... I'm not a purist. Hi, Mike. Bought the NES remake and had a blast playing. Did you did you hack it? Cause it's awesome to hack. Well, I do that too, Krell. But I see. I want. I want a turtles. I think it's gonna be for me. Um, I think down the road, if I ever get a good deal on a on a turtles, I'll uh, um, I'll put the motherboard in there. But I'm gonna wait till I find like a really good deal. I'm not paying like the going rate at the moment, and they might go up in price. But I think for the time being, I'm gonna restore it. It's gonna be 100% the way it was. I'm gonna use. I'm still gonna use the monitor, everything. But I might just throw a PC in it for now. You know what I mean? I'm not. I'm not. I'm not ruining it. I'm actually restoring it because it, it was. Um, it's kind of sad, man. They cut the. They cut the. Um, cut the control panel all up. Mike, you can get like Super Nintendo games on there. Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, 
You can get all kinds of games on there. You can load them up. It's pretty easy to do, Mike, too. Go look up a guy on YouTube called ET, ETA Prime. And just look up ETA Prime NES Classic Hack or something like that. It uses a use a, a program called HackChi. All right, I'll see you, Krell. Later. I, actually, I'm going to end this stream anyway because i got to get out of here. But I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Go check out VideoGameOutsiders.com um, and check out their, their live podcast tonight at 9. Um, I'll be on the show in a couple weeks, but I have my own podcast. Download their app. It's called Video Game Outsiders, either on iTunes or the Play Store. My, my podcast is free. It's called The Game Store Guy. Check it out. I'll see you guys later. Bye, little French lady.